Hello, friends. Welcome to Shelter in Place. Scripture, inspiration, prayer. Take a sip of life. Come to me, all you who are burdened, and I will give you rest. Here I am, Lord. I come to seek your presence. I long for your healing power. Psalm 103, 1-22, ESV Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, he flourishes like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, obeying the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Today's quotation comes to us from one of the greatest composers of all time, Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach, as he is often known, in spite of coming from a large family with many musicians, lived in the late 17th and early 18th centuries in Germany. He is celebrated as the creator of many masterpieces of church and instrumental music during the Baroque era. Where there is devotional music, God is always at hand with his gracious presence. I love this simple quote. When I listen to beautiful devotional music, which is any music that helps us to worship God through music, with or without words, I can easily get caught up in the music as I shift my mind from the cares and worries that are on my heart and on to God himself. Whenever we incline our hearts and minds to God in an intentional manner, he is present in a way that we were perhaps unaware of even moments before. It's not that he wasn't present before, it's that we notice his presence, his gracious presence. He was there all along, but we had been thinking about other things. Yesterday, Paul and I were walking in a park, and after a brief pause along the way, we were surprised to see a doe and her fawn gently grazing just a short distance from where we stood, only noticing them when the fawn tilted her head slightly to take a good look at us. God is always at hand, but he is definitely at hand in a special way when we sing songs of praise and adoration 
about him and especially to him. As today's scripture encourages us, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. God is gracious. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.